Alrighty, let's get going. Uh, we are going to, first of all, jump over. Let me show you what we're going to do first. I, mean, I know these are supposed to be fast, down, and dirty. But we are going to allow the sorting of these items. And, of course, the display of these items down here. So the reason I picked sorting is because in our world, in this example, the bottom level, these, these guys cannot be sorted. Our layers can be sorted. Our segments can be sorted. But our paths cannot be sorted because they work based on an index. When one path where one path ends, the next path begins. So sorting them would be a bad idea. Um, so with that, we're going to bring in new, remove, top, up, down, and bottom. In this tutorial, we're just doing top. So we need to jump over to our iParent notifier, iParent item, should I say. And we already, I've already plopped some methods in here, but we need to plop a few more. Uh, we need a void new child, void remove child, and then base item, selected item. All right, and now when we jump over to our not main window, to our main view, wherever it's at. We have a few more things to add here. And I'm just going to get rid of these throw exceptions for right now. Now, where else do we... If we go over to our segment in our layer, go to our la uh, segment first, or our layer first, that's where we're going to work right now. We need an I parent item. Yeah. Okay, because it's on the base item also. That's really where we need it anyway. We're not doing anything sp special in the actual layer control. But I did put new and remove in the layer control on my example. Because the base item ah, tell you what, let's get rid of that. So let's go ahead. We have Only references here. Let's go ahead and move this down. Our base item is going to become just the base item. It's not going to be inherit. It's not going to inherit from our I parent anymore. But our layer and our segment are going to inherit from our I parent. Let's get rid of that test something. Plop those in. Should get rid of all the errors. Now, where are segments? Open up Solution Explorer, Model, Segment. Exact same code. I hate duplicate code, and you could create a base class for this, but I inherited it from base item, done this part of it. We're just not in this example. Okay. And go over here to our layer control and get rid of that test something field. Okay. How many errors do we have? The parent is a... Parent is a 
So we do need to change these into segments. Now, because they are our base side, or they, they are our parent notifier. What's wrong with child one? Oh, <laughs> didn't change it. Okay. Now, runs just fine. Just like before. Okay, so now let's jump over to here, add a new folder called commands. We're going to get this first command knocked out. And I'm going to add it. It's going to be named, let's add a class called generic new command. And that's, it's generic because we will be using it by the layer class. We'll be using it with the segment class. In the base model, we'll be using it. Okay. For right now, return true from the can execute, but add a method called public void refresh can execute. We will be implementing that so the button disables if the wrong thing is selected. So on the execute, we want to check that our parameter that we're passing in is a main view. If it is, we grab the main view from it, or we convert it to a main view. If the main view selected item it's not equal to null. And the main view also needs to have, I believe it needs to uh, inherit from the, yeah, it also needs to inherit from the iParent notifier. We'll do that in a few minutes. If the MPV, hmm, if the MV, selected item is an i parent item then cast it and say the parent item that item that we have selected in the window new child we have the top line we have nothing selected so we're still going to do something in that case. And else if the parameter itself is a parent item, then we have a child selected. Like I said, this is down and dirty. I know I just hit... Ten minutes but okay so we're in the layer the layer gets a new segment we're almost finished we can go ahead and implement remove child while we're here it's only three lines of code I like to check to test if it's actually there for debugging purposes and there's no reason not to go ahead and just use the index instead of a more generic remove. Just go ahead and use the index we got to test. Okay, we got that in our segment control. Very similar. We're just adding a child part. We're just adding a base item. Exact same code as what we've done in the layer for the remove. So just copy it from the layer over to the remove. Like I said, this could very well you could bring in a T, a generic, and from the new child, and we could put this in a base another base class, or maybe work it into the 
base item class. Okay, so we're going to add our command now because we need something to bind to. Private. Oh, so I get that thing in here. Okay, and now to our front end to the window. And that column that we left open over on the side, we're going to add another stack panel. Grid.row is equal to 1. We'll add a button and call it new seg or new just call it new the new new item and content is equal to n and width is 32 height is 32 command should be equal to binding generic command mode is two way and the command parameter is just equal to the binding. Very simple. So we're actually passing the data context in as our as our parameter. And there it is. So we have new layer. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I double clicked on it and I'm simply going to say add a new layer to the model view. Layer, layer is equal to new layer. Let's go ahead and add this in the model view. Let's not be lazy. I was about to be lazy there. And I'm here, sorry, over here. Layer. Layer is equal to new layer. Name is equal to string dot format. Layer. Children dot count. Parent is equal to this. Children dot add layer. Okay, and we'll get our front end to call that. Okay, and then last but not least, sorry, we've added that, so last but not least, let's test it. New layer, layer works out, new child, there it is, we've got a new segment, and we have a new child. And our scroll bar works. We need to put a little bit of a margin around that scroll bar, around the tree view. So give it a margin of 0, 0, 8, 0. And yeah, now we got a scroll bar. Alrighty. Of course, we don't need it over here. But we got it down here too. Alrighty, so next up, we are going to just go through, do each of the commands in a separate video and put them, then we'll bring in the list view to display the, what's selected, the children of what's selected. So you'll see them up here. You'll see them down here. You'll be able to rearrange them in both places. It's just for comparison and just to show how to arrange a command, uh, in such a way that we can use in multiple places with multiple items selected. So this command works if the layer is selected, if a segment is selected, and if we wanted it to, we could actually put another layer, keep on going all the way down just by using the interface properly. If you got something out of this, like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.